Assalamu alaikum, my love. Thank you for being here. And I'm so sorry that yesterday I could not record my videos. I actually recorded them, but I had a problem with my mic and you could not hear me. So I got that fixed. And alhamdulillah, today we are ready to study. Today in English, we are doing phonics and grammar revision because we need to get ready for next week's unit test. We are having a, a test next week. On Monday, we are going to have our English test. So here is the revision so that inshallah you will bring full mark and that you will be ready. Now, on Sunday evening, you can again open this video and revise a little bit more. Okay, so let's get started. We are doing phonics today. We are revising about short U and long U, also about soft C and G. And in grammar, we are revising about helping verbs, linking and helping verbs, the verbs that you can see in this picture. M is R, was, and were. So, by the end of this lesson, you're going to be able to say, I can identify the linking verbs am, is, are, was, were in sentences. And I can write sentences using linking verbs. We are starting with grammar. These are our objectives for grammar. You can go and watch these two videos. The link is down under this video in the description and you can also copy and paste them from the powerpoints so go watch them and then come back to continue with this lesson let's revise a linking verb does not show any action linking verbs can show ideas from the past the verb to be has three forms in the simple present. So it could be either past or present. In the present, it's used as am, is, and are. And if we want to show ideas from the past, we use was and were. Okay, so if we want to show ideas from the present, we use am, is, or are. And in the past, we use was and were. Let's talk a little bit more about that. Let's now focus on the present, simple present sentences. When do we use am, is, or are? I use am if I have a pronoun, the pronoun I, if I'm talking about I, I would say I am. If I have the pronouns he, she, or it, I'm going to use is or if I have we, you or they, I will use are. Let's have some more practice. I, what am I, what am I going to use? I, a student. I, what am I going to use? Am I going to use is? I is a student? No, I am a student. If you still have the notes that we did before, you can take them and check them if you still have it in your notebook. Otherwise, you can practice more and do these exercises again. You can take a notebook or a paper and write these sentences down. She, she, here is she, she is a girl, she is a girl. It is a toy. We, here is we, we are kids, we are kids, he is kind, they are nice, they are nice, we are cousins, we are cousins, it is a cat, it is a cat. You are smart. You are smart. I always tell you that. 
Also, you are special. You are special. So here is how we use the linking verbs am, is, and are. Reviewed about the past. Now we're gonna revise the linking verbs that we use when we talk about the past. We use was or where. Depend on what is our pronoun. So if we are talking about I, he, she, or it, we're gonna use was. If we talk about we, you, or they, we are going to use were. And this is when we talk about the past. Something that already happened, that happened yesterday or the day before or last week. So let's use the linking verbs in sentences. It was very hot yesterday. I was having fun at the park. The birds were thirsty. They were thirsty. There were Baby's crying. Maria was reading this morning. My toys were dirty, but I cleaned them. You were nice to me all the time in this, during school days. My friends and I were playing last week. So this is how we use the linking verbs was and were. Now we have done already these two pages, but let's revise them. Bring your grammar booklet and let's revise pages 76 and 77. Just make sure that your answers are all correct. If you have any mistakes, you can fix them. You know that we always learn from our mistakes, so don't feel bad. All right, let's start. Circle the linking verbs in each sentence. The first one is done. It says forests are busy places. The next one is I am near a large tree. Am is the linking verb. A bird is in the tree. It is very colorful. A snake is near the bird. Other animals are in the tree too. For the next exercise, choose the correct linking verb in the brackets and then write the complete sentence. The linking verb here is was because it's talking about I, I was. Last week I was near the ocean. There were whales nearby. The birds were in the sky. Boats were in the distance. The scene was peaceful. Here you have to write a sentence of your own using linking verbs. You can pause the video and write your own sentences. When you finish, continue with the video. Now all your answers here will be different than mine. I'm going to write a sentence that can help you figure out if your sentence is correct. I'm going to make a sentence with was. I'm going to use I. I was happy during a eat. Were my friends and I were happy. On a eight. Full stop. And is something that is happening now in the present. I can say
The cat is friendly. The cat is friendly. Let's move on now into phonics. We are going to revise about the letter U. We can use U as a long U or as a short U. The letter U can stand for the short U sound, this is the sound you hear in cut. The long U sound you hear in cute can be spelled U with a consonant and a silent e. Copy and paste the link below in your browser and watch the introduction video to short and long u. You can also click on the link under this description, under the description of this video. Now, let's talk about long and short u. Here we have four examples. Here you can find this you can find this exercise in practice book page 62 so go grab it if you haven't done this exercise do it now if you did it just make sure that your answers are correct look at the first picture it is a bear what a bear cup it's a bear cup number two this is a mule Number three, it's a cube which with a long U. And this is a tub. Now look, there is no magic E on the short A sound, the short U, cup. But when we have a magic E or a silent E, the U becomes long and we say its name. Mule, cube, tub. Here we have a list of words. Let's sort them out. The first word is mule. It's right here. Mule. Mule. Is it long or short? It has a silent E, so it is a short. It's long, sorry, for a mule. Fuse. It has a silent e so it's going to be a long u fuse the next one is cup there is no silent e in cup so it's gonna be in the short u column cube cube has a silent e cub Notice that between cub and cube, there is only one E here. But the word is completely different. Dug. Dug. Flute. It has a magic E, flute. And then we have tune. Tune. Bug. Bug is right here. And the last one is fun. What we all like to have. We all like to have fun. Now let's talk about the soft and the soft C and G. Go and watch these two videos again to revise what we have learned about soft C and soft G. Remember that when C or G meets E, I, or Y, its sound is soft. Let's do this again. Practice book, page 72. Go grab it, open it on page 72. And if you haven't done this, do it now with me. Otherwise, just check that your answers are correct. The first word is space. Space. It has an E next to the C. This is why it is soft and it's a soft C. So we have to put it on the soft C list. 
space. Next one is range. Do you see the J, the sub G? Range. Range. Trace, it has a sub C. Trace. Cage, cage, it's a sub G. Cage. Batch, it is also a soft G. Batch. And the last one, ice. Something we all love, ice. Let's read the sentences, circle the word with the soft C or G, and then write the word. If you want to go back to this lesson, guys, it's there on YouTube, and you can revise all of these soft C and soft G lesson again. Now I'm going to answer this just to make sure that your answers are correct in your practice book. There will be a craft fair in the center of town. So this is the one with the soft C. I cooked a great dish with ginger and carrots. Ginger, j, ginger. Remember, it, ha it has to meet E, I, or Y. If you find these letters next to the C or the G, that means they are soft. We gladly collected all the coins in a giant container. The fancy car cost thousands of dollars. Fancy. Dad stored the candles in the cellar of the house. Cellar of the house. Got it, guys? If you have any questions, you know that you can contact me in Class Dojo or in WhatsApp anytime. And really, I really wish your unit tests will be f will have full mark. And I am wishing you from now a very good luck. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye.